everyone, thanks for tuning in today. So today I'm gonna be working on the five series today. Uh, the parts that I've been waiting for, which is the clutch and the flywheel assembly, because since I went from a, was it six bolt motor to an eight bolt motor, I gotta switch out that whole part. So I can't put the motor in until, or I don't wanna put the motor in until I put the flywheel on and all that. So yeah, this is what's holding me up right here. But today I headed to the junkyard because I really want to pick up a few of these um, lines. So this is the AC line for the 5 Series. So this the one that runs all the way to this side. Actually like so. Runs like this along the side of the motor. So I just wanted another like a couple more examples. Um, building a couple more of these lines. So I just want to have them relocated this way. I think last time I was there I saw a couple. So I should be able to pull them off. I'm not sure if they pulled the lines off and cut them or anything like that. So I hope they didn't damage them. So I just packed up the bag and I should be ready to go. All right, so I'm driving and all of a sudden, bam, got one of these. The whole Christmas light all at once. I just, the one right there is for my seatbelt because I just took it off. But yeah, you got this over here. Luckily, I keep this um, scanner in the car. And what is it? There he calls. So all it is is just a rear left wheel speed sensor. So it's nothing too crazy. You just pop the wheel off and a screw and a plug and pop the new one in and you should be good to go. So yeah, it's the car that keeps on giving. So this is imperative why I hate sometimes when people got like beat cars and they're like, yo, I know what I have. XYZ and none of the maintenance been taken care of and all this other good stuff and still want hella money for it But luckily I got it at a good price and even these little knickknacks here and there uh, The motor's still good. That's all I'm happy about Give me these little little um, sensor projects or whatever. They're annoying, but I'm just happy the motor's still good A lot of people out here. The weather's not hot Everything is Gucci out here. So Hopefully there's some uh, five steers out here. Oh, there we go. First row, found a five steers. Let's see if we got it. This isn't the right motor. Where is it? Yeah, it's an N54. Done, got me. I thought it was an N54 in here. When I moved this stuff to the side, turns out it's not it's just a standard and it doesn't look like the ac line runs the same way abs module sits like in the same spot mercedes not a mercedes i remember this one it's the three series i got the door, the door from yep this is it Still, still got some stuff on it. Um, what's this, an airbag? Yep. Let me double check on this, because I remember what I saw on there. Motor shot, and they took the amp out. So, one series. There go another five. Actually, actually, two of them right next to each other. Look at it on the deuce deuces. <laughs> Damn, ooh. Close this. Ooh, no, 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 no. I feel like I'll catch something going inside of that car. What it's got? Nope. And 52. AC line. Nope doesn't run the same check this one out nope actually it looks kind of the same yeah because the AC is on this side I wonder if it could be used comes all the way back here. So if it comes all the way from back here, it runs to there, seem like the same connectors. So mainly all you need is just a connector. Can't 
can't find anything. I see a lot of threes. I don't. Uh, so it's another day um i've been busy as heck i just went ahead and uh took out the white 335i to like drive around a bit i had to run some errands and lo and behold i went ahead and broke the throttle body so <laughs> i'm pretty much driving in like na mode i'm just trying to cruise limp it back to, to the house so yeah one more thing i gotta order but anyways you should go ahead and uh replace your oem charge pipe because as you can see, it will crack. And it's on stock boost. So I'm going to have to put that on the list right now to go order that also. So yeah, it's a lot of little random stuff. Got to go ahead and uh, change on this car. But as I can always say is the engine's still good. So just driving and cruising real chill right now because I don't want anything to go up in there because technically that's like a vacuum leak and or boost leak and all that. So not going to make any boosts. It's going to drive like any and it's bypassing the filters so just cruising because yeah don't want to hurt that motor thing is man i'm sorry for you like uh new n54 owners or whatever like just jumping in the game because it's like a lot of bs to go deal with right now especially if some of these stuff has not been changed before like like coming from a fully stock car not one that has been modified but i don't know if it's either one is any better but yeah you just gotta i don't know just switch out these standard stuff that goes wrong and you should be good to go like <laughs> definitely the charge pipe upgrade that i don't know why there's so much plastics on this car but change those plastics out to oem alternatives and you're good to go yeah, so another day got the cowling off and all this other stuff and finally able to see the charge pipe as you can see it is pretty much knocked right off so i didn't touch it yet this is literally how it was um i think i see the c clip is actually down there i could see it so at least i got that one still there i thought i had a separate one i was going through some of my old parts yeah, i thought i had one but this is from the old sevens or the earlier ones the shorts and this is a long so I can't even throw this on temporarily. It's too short. So on the early ones, they stopped right here. This one goes all the way. Just picked out the C clip that broke. Put it on up to here so you can see all around here. That's just where it broke at. So yeah, all this is going. So it wouldn't even hold on anyway. So now I'm down on a slippery slope because so much change this part right here. Put in some uh, blow off valve, replace these, and yeah, get another connector down there and change the intercooler. And then while I'm at it, might as well just relocate this all over to this side, move this over that way, and yeah, I guess get a pre prep for single turbo setup because more than likely that's what's gonna happen. I already know it. And the only reason why I say relocate this over here is because I already have an issue with the coolant level sensor. So I got to pull this out anyway. And I don't like these lines because they tend to break right here. And this one seems like it's going to break real soon. This is a weird clamp. I've never seen these before. They normally don't look like that. So I know this is not OEM. Or it could be. Who knows? But anyways, I'm going to have to build out my parts list and order everything to get this thing situated. So, yeah, it's a lot more work than I thought. I even realized it's missing a bolt here for the manifold. So who else knows what else is missing on this thing or what's not secured down or what not. But that's the gamble you take when you take on projects.